Welcome back to another Crash Team Mumble video. Today we are going to be talking about the Crash Team Mumble mid-season patch um, update or Crash Team Mumble mid-season patch note. So let's start first with the update and it's really really exciting and all of those were posted by Toys for Bob. Toys for Bob .com. It's written in Toys for Bob .com right now so we have the Crash Team Mumble mid-season patch notes of course. Notes updated updated as of 12 p.m 20 july 2023 live a 9 a.m um, wednesday 9th july ripper will be live on 20 july for all players he can be unlocked by earning 50 blocker badges in blocker badges by knocking one part away signing out and signing back in during intro custom um cost, cost, Enduring the intro cutscene, um, um, will no longer leave players on a black screen until the title closes. And if an infrequent crash on startup has been resolved, an infrequent issue that resulted in players becoming stuck in a black screen when the last person redied up in now is now resolved <laughs> players no longer need to accept a friend request twice before the friend populates the friends tab players can uh, players can now progress through and participate in practice mode after selecting a power when a party host backs out of a competitive lobby the rest of the party will um appro appro Appropriately um, follow the that party host out of the the lobby. Several issues were resolved, which allowed teams with more than four players. That's really exciting. Translation coverage has been improved um, across the game in all launch languages. Accepting an invite into a party or lobby in a very Variety situations will now appro appro um, appropriately move players to the correct party or lobby. Audio now um, consist consistently um, plays when in the main menu. Stat um, st stability around the completion of private matches has been improved. Teams will appro uh, um, appropriately be notified if their party um, leader leaves the party. If a player unlocks two heroes in a single match, the announcer will correctly say both of their unlock announcements. Boss will no longer use slam attacks while carrying Wampa and banking maps. The spawn barrier can no longer be bypassed by enemies. Tar Valley. The potential for network instability after the Aku Aku Epic Relic Station effect expires has been resolved. The level three power Aku Aku, the level three Aku, Aku power no longer damages friendly slow shrooms. Calamity Canyon. The force fields can no longer be passed through by enemy players. Oxide's UFO model is no longer invisible if opposing players are, look, are looking away when it activates. Rusted Refinery. Enemy bots are now if affected by Sandstorm. Heroes, n heroes no longer have a chance to appear extremely um, distorted. Dr. Andreo and infrequent crash surrounding use the of use the um, surrounding use the of do Dr. Na uh, Andreo during a match has been resolved. Slimes can no longer be at used to attack enemies. In these po in the in their own spawn area, slimes will now stay on ba on the banks or gems they are spawned on. Slimes no longer 
positionally spawn at the center of the map when a thrown flask hits an enemy. Dr. Andrea will no longer become stuck if he transforms while standing right next to a gem. Coco, the final reward box, will no longer be checked before the player finishes the final requirements for the Earn Score Badges by Scoring Wumpa Challenge. Um, Tauna, the location of Hook Shoot pro um, Projectile will now more closely indicate the direction the hero will travel. Dingo Dial fixed a bug that sometimes allowed players to use the tail look attack more often than intended. Dingo Dial no longer stutters during his hover animation when viewed by other players. Entropy, the staff will no longer revert to the default option after completing a match. The mastery badge will now be easier to acquire. Players need to deny one paw without getting knocked out instead of getting hit. Power powers. Power drains collusion has been improved so it no longer blocks the use of relic station it may be placed on. When powers um uh, when powers with multiple chargers are completely full, the colors on the power icon are not, are no longer muted. Events using the zapper and zap trap will now um, appropriate, appropriately track KOs and grant the multi KO badge to players that get multiple KOs in a row. Zap Trap no longer displays the team total um, as one from eight, as one and eight, and now appro appro appropriately shows one, um, one from four. The issue caused players playing Zap Trap essentially be put into a standard competitive match has been resolved. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all in the next video. Also, all events will be uploaded to the channel in September. All gameplay videos for Bog Down, Reparu Reaccess, Engine A Reaccess, KO Overflow, Double Hero XP, and all events will be uploaded. Make sure to check them, as well as Tiki TNT, Zap Trap, and even many, many other things will be uploaded in season one, then season two, um, season three, season four, every season in the game. Thanks for watching and bye.